Hi, my name is Judy Kessinger. I'm the creator and owner of the FitNice system. And today I'm going to show you how to use elastic thread. Now this is a really fun project. If you've never used it before, I encourage you to try a spool of it. You can find this on my website. It's a Dritz product. I sell it in white and I sell it in black. Now the jacket that I have on, I have elastic thread in, but I'm going to show you more about that in just a little bit. But if you look at the sleeves that are on this garment, I took a piece of the knit and I elasticized the fabric and then I cut out the sleeves. So basically what I did was I created my own fabric by doing it this way. This is not meant to stretch. I'm not after the stretch. I'm only after the detail. Believe it or not, the front of this neckline was gathered with the elastic thread too. So I'm going to show you the tricks of working with this product. Now first of all, we need to wrap a bobbin and everybody's machine is different so you can either take this spool of thread get you a cereal bowl and put it in the cereal bowl I just throw it behind my machine and I'm going to put it around the tension that came on my machine and then I'm going to go through the tension again that came on your machine I'm going to thread this on my bobbin and my bobbin has a little hole in it so let me put it through the little hole and I'm going to put this on my bobbin case, or on my bobbin spindle, all right? Push that down, and I'm ready to wrap this bobbin. Now, before you do this, let me tell you that if you kind of hold on to this a little bit, it'll wrap a lot more evenly. So just kind of got it. You're not stretching it, you're guiding it. And yes, you want your machine, your bobbin, to stretch. So you want all this elasticity to stretch out of it. So when I wrap it on the bobbin, all I have to do is like this and can you see that I'm guiding it with my left hand let me cut off the ends like that and that bob that thread's just flopping around on the back not hurting anything can you see it's just flopping around on the back that's enough of a bobbin I'm gonna take this off like this and I'm ready to put this into my bobbin case now, it's already stretched, so what I'm going to do, let me get this off of here, is put this into the bobbin case. And you want to run it through all the tensions in your machine. Everybody's machine is different, so run it through the tensions. Just like you were putting a bobbin, just forget that it's elastic thread, put it in just like you would do your regular thread. Now, I will tell you one thing. If you have a cutter on your machine, an electric cutter, don't use it, because if you do, the bobbin's going to rewrap itself and you're going to have to get in there and undo the bobbin. So let me get a piece of fabric. I have already done a couple of rows in this fabric that you can see. I've already done a couple of rows and I'm going to do a couple of more just for you. Now let me give you a little hint again. You want to pull this and straighten it. I'm not stretching it, I'm just straightening it so that I don't go over any pleats. I like to sew a machine foot apart. It's an easy way to sew. I have my machine set on a far left needle position. If you can't do that, then you can use some kind of a guide to give you even rows. So I'm just going to sew, and you can hear it. Hear the fun, hear the, you can hear the bobbin. The reason you can hear it is because that thread is a lot thicker than normal thread in your bobbin case. I'm going to stretch it out like this. You, don't, you can back tack this thread if you want to. And the best part, if you run out in the middle, all you have to do is start wherever it ran out and keep going. Now you can see how much it's already elasticized, but I'm going to show you a little trick, and that is to steam it, and it will shrink up even more. Now the secret to elastic thread is you have to steam it. So lay this on your ironing board once you've done all the rolls you want to do. Hold your steam iron a couple of inches above it and give it a burst of steam. And it will shrink up. It's only going to do it once, but it will shrink up. So you can see what a gorgeous job you've done. If you look at the jacket that I have on, you can see all of this is elastic thread. I did not do this to make it stretch. I did it for detail because it takes that really sheer fabrics and literally 
makes all those flowers a much stronger color. So what you're going to do is to take a large piece of sheer fabric, you're going to gather it up with that elastic thread, and just to give you a for instance, my jacket front from the center to the armhole is 30 inches on each side. So I need a 60 inch wide piece of fabric for the right and a 60 inch wide piece of fabric for the left. So that'll give you some kind of a guide as to how much you need. So I did row after row after row on this sheer fabric and then I steamed it to shrink it. And then what I did was I cut out my jacket front. And that's exactly what you're seeing on me right now. Now, if you look at it, you can see what the fabric looked like before and see what the fabric looked like now. So it's really great when you've got the, all of these colors showing really, really through. This jacket is on variation five and it's called the Maggie Marie jacket. And I wanna give you a little tip. See the ruffle that's all the way around the jacket? I'm gonna bet, because this is the way I was taught to do this, so I bet you are too. You use two rows of basting stitches. You pull the bobbin thread to gather anything you need to gather. Or you take a cord and zigzag over the cord and pull the cord together. You know what's easier? Elastic thread. So what I did was I took this strip of fabric and I gathered it with elastic thread, one row. Steam it, it gathers up, stitch it to your jacket, and you have an absolutely beautiful finish on the jacket. Easy, quick, and simple. All done with elastic thread. I love it. I love jackets, I really do. Jackets are one of those ways you can either dress up or dress down, so this is a really great tip. Now this jacket, if you look at it closely, you see that it's hanging perfectly straight. But in the back of this jacket, I have elastic thread. So I finished the jacket and I just sewed four rows of elastic thread. And you can see even those rows pull that in and make that jacket a little more fitted. You want a different look to the bottom of your sleeve? Do rows of elastic thread and you have the bottom of your sleeve gathered. So it's a really simple way to get exactly the look you're looking for and it's all done with elastic thread. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've seen how simple and easy this system is to work with. All of the products you've seen in the video are available on my website or a link on my website. Please make sure while you're there to check out the classes to see where I am. Join me on Facebook under Fit Nice and be sure to join the Fit Club. Thank you.